governor said that up to 50 families a day are enrolling in emergency shelter right here in Massachusetts. But what happens when the state runs out of space? 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has more on the migrant and homelessness crisis. With the emergency shelter cap about to be reached, it's unknown whether or not House and Senate leaders will step in to help with this housing crisis. When Governor Healy took office in January, there were around 3,800 families in state shelter. As of Thursday, there are around 7,400 families. A state judge ruled this week that Healy can in fact cap those living in emergency shelter to 7,500 families, which is expected to be reached in the coming days. So this begs the question, what will happen to the 7,501st family? The administration has put in place a waitlist system that will triage families based on needs. The first category prioritizes families that are at imminent risk of harm due to domestic violence. Families that the Department of Children and Families have determined are at highest risk of harm and families that meet one or more of the following criteria. A family member aged zero to three months, an immunocompromised family member, an individual with a high risk pregnancy or someone with a tracheostomy tube. Well, probably half of the folks who are in shelter right now are Massachusetts families who have been here, who are experiencing and have experienced housing insecurity. You know, we've laid out the parameters. We also have to be um, clear and transparent with the public about what's actually happening. And I think we have to be prepared to be nimble and flexible with regard to the implementation. Now this week, House Speaker Ron Mariano made it clear that the House has no plans to make changes to the right to shelter law here in the Commonwealth. Healy also said this week that she continues to call on the Biden administration for help and support. Working for you at the Statehouse in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.